The Grand Chamber of the Galactic Council buzzed with an almost electric desperation. Every seat filled, every eye focused on the central podium where Counselor Zith paced. His scaled hide shifted from emerald to sickly yellow under the harsh lights. We are beyond doomed, he declared, his voice cutting through the murmurs. The devourers encroach from the galactic rim. Their hunger is insatiable, their annihilation guaranteed. A thousand voices erupted in clamor as representatives from every corner of the known galaxy argued, proposed, and ultimately despaired. The Galactic Council was meant to unite and guide. Right now, they were a broken mirror of fear, all except one newly vacant seat. A bored sigh echoed through the chamber. You fellas gonna wrap this up soon? I've got a date tonight. Every alien eye swiveled to stare at the newcomer, a human lounging with his boots propped on the polished table. He was casually munching on a triangular pastry of some kind. Identify yourself, Counselor Zith shrieked, his voice cracking. The human yawned. Name's Alex. I'm here to help. The council erupted in a cacophony of shouts, disbelief, derision, a lingering wisp of utterly unwarranted hope. Alex merely shrugged and took another bite of his whatever it was. Zith, spurred by desperation more than belief, thrust himself forward. Help? From a human? Your species is a galactic infant. Your weapons are primitive. Your fleet's insignificant. Alex chuckled, crumbs of his pastry sprinkling down his chin. Hey, no need to go for the jugular, pal. Look, here's the deal. These devourers of yours, they're nothing we ain't seen before. The counselors gasped in unison, whispers rippling through the vast room. Alex simply winked and licked a stray smear of red sauce from his thumb. We humans were kind of experts at dealing with stuff that wants to eat everything. We got a long history with it. Bugs, plagues, politicians. He grinned. Trust me, we've perfected the art of extermination. A hush fell over the grand chamber, laced with doubt and the desperate, flickering hope. And your price for this extermination? Zith rasped out, his iridescent scales pulsing with fear and anticipation. Alex leaned back, dusting the crumbs from his shirt. Well, fellas, this might sound a little strange, but all I ask for is pizza. He held up the half-eaten triangle in his hand. This thing, but like the best possible. The kind that makes you weep with joy. Silence stretched for a long, disbelieving moment before the entire council burst into raucous laughter. Delegates clutched their abdomens. Chitinous exoskeletons rattled and multi-hued feathers ruffled. Had their doom come with a punchline attached? Alex's eyebrow twitched. Hey, I'm serious. Y'all like having a galaxy left, right? A dude's got to get his fuel. Counselor Zith, through wheezing gasps, managed a reply. Pizza, this is your payment for saving the known universe? Alex shrugged. Best stuff on Earth. Look, you guys figure out this pizza situation and I'll take care of your bug problem, deal? He extended a hand, palm upward, in the ancient earth gesture of agreement. The council fell silent. Countless alien eyes locked on the human's outstretched hand. The weight of decision, the destiny of countless worlds, hung absurdly balanced against a request for a simple earth dish. Finally. Zith stepped forward, hesitantly extending a clawed appendage. The handshake was fumbling and awkward, scales scraping against human skin, but a ripple of startled relief swept through the chamber. A deal was struck. Now, the panicked buzzing of the grand chamber took on a different energy. Chefs were summoned, emissaries dispatched, and culinary experts from a hundred worlds converged with a singular mission, to craft a pizza fit to save the galaxy. Alex found himself whisked away to a luxurious suite, less a prison cell and more a diplomatic holding pen. 
Screens flickered, displaying frantic attempts across the galaxy to replicate the mysterious pizza. One planet grew mushrooms the size of houses. Their spores promising some sort of tangy topping. Another melted down star metal to forge a planet-sized baking tray. Zaith himself hovered outside the suite, nervously fidgeting while offering status updates that Alex pretended to understand. Hours trickled into days. Reports grew more bizarre. A zealous chef from the avian confederacy had attempted to deep fry an entire nebula, mistaking it for a cosmic mozzarella ball. A bioengineer from a reptilian world proposed splicing tomato and wheat DNA with a buffalo-like creature, hoping to create a self-assembling, cheese-producing organism. Alex buried his head in his hands. Humans, it seemed, were simple folk at heart. Finally, a harried-looking zith hovered near the doorway, holding aloft a steaming circular object. Alex, he squeaked, they believe this is optimal. Alex eyed the creation warily. It resembled a mutated pie chart assembled by a colorblind child. Sections pulsated with disconcerting shades of green and purple, while one corner bubbled ominously like a miniature volcano. Is that an eyeball? Floating in cheese? He asked, a delicacy from the Exesarian star system, considered highly nutritious. Alex swallowed. All right, Z-Man, let's give it a shot. This pizza looked like it could single-handedly start a galactic war, but what did he know? Maybe aliens had different taste buds. He took the proffered slice, the sense hitting him like a freight train. It was, in a word, overwhelming. Imagine a dumpster left out in the sun after a seafood festival, then amplified and crossbred with a middle school chemistry experiment gone wrong, but a deal was a deal. Alex closed his eyes and took a hesitant bite. Flavor bombs detonated in his mouth. There was the fermented tang of a thousand alien fruits, the eye-watering spice of crushed meteor dust, and was that a hint of motor oil? He gagged, coughed, and sputtered. Somewhere through the alien symphony of culinary chaos, amidst flavors from across the universe, there was a faint whisper of something familiar, a memory struggling to form like a familiar face glimpsed through a sandstorm. Then it hit him. Anchovies, he roared, spitting out what could generously be referred to as pizza. Counselor Zith flinched back. Was that suboptimal? Alex sprinted across the room, throwing open the windows. No, no, listen, that taste. The salty one, you guys gotta find where that's from. Just ditch the anchovies. A new frenzy erupted. Chefs consulted interstellar flavor charts. Spice merchants ransacked their stores, desperate for anything resembling that distinct, fermented fish flavor. Within hours, the source was pinpointed. An unassuming sea plant from a remote water world. The closest thing the galaxy had to a salty anchovy. A new pizza was crafted, this time adorned with a less diverse array of ingredients. But the key addition of the sea plant it looked marginally less offensive, but the scent still packed a wallop. Alex steeled himself as he took a bite. His taste buds went into overdrive. The doughy base, a mix of grains from a dozen worlds, had a subtle sweetness that grounded the chaos. The tomato-like sauce, now mellowed without 12 different eyeball broths, was tart and vibrant. And the sea plant, it was the star. Salty, pungent, the essence of concentrated ocean. It was wrong, absolutely, undeniably wrong. And yet, there was something oddly compelling about it. He finished the slice and promptly reached for another. It wasn't pizza as he knew it, not by a long shot. This was galaxy pizza, a chaotic symphony of flavors that shouldn't work, but miraculously, somehow, did. This, this could work he mumbled through a mouthful. Zith watched, hope dawning in his multifaceted eyes. News spread through the Grand Chamber. Emissaries, chefs, and anxious representatives held their breath as Alex declared the pizza 
a qualified success. A cheer rippled outwards, echoing with relief, disbelief, and the lingering, potent scent of the sea plant. True to his word, Alex spearheaded the counteroffensive against the devourers. Human tactics were blunt and messy, honed in the fires of age-old struggles against threats far less terrifying than a swarm of world-consuming entities. But sometimes, blunt and messy was just what the galaxy ordered. In the end, the humans, fueled by a steady supply of increasingly bizarre but surprisingly palatable pizzas and vast amounts of cans of something called Raid, drove back the devourer threat. The galaxy was saved and peace returned. But the universe had been irrevocably changed. Pizza became a culinary craze, an unexpected bridge between worlds. Chefs, once locked in their own cultural silos, embraced the challenge of alien ingredients. Zith even made good on his promise, arranging for Alex's first date to be held at the most revered, newly constructed pizzeria this side of the galactic core. The menu had but one item, a tribute to their savior. The human special, topped with enough sea plant to make an ocean weep tears of salty joy. 